This is a vibration tamper design for 360 cameras. And it's not just works on Insta360 camera, but also works on Stata D1, the Kukam AK, and even the outdoor action cam like a GoPro, the DJI a camera, and some other brands. You can isolate the vibration from up and down. See that? From left to right. Do you see that? Up and down, left to right. Top and bottom. So all three directions, the vibration has been dampened by this vibration damper. Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. Today, we're gonna talk about something really hardcore. That is the vibration damper designed by Insta360. I mean, this is not just a small accessory for 360 cameras. I think it's a giant leap forward for our 360 camera industry. To tell you more about that, not only show you the basic unboxing, the basic tutorials about this vibration damper, but I'll also share with you some of the, the behind the scenes of science and also make some scientific analyzation from my personal perspective to help you better understand the vibration damper and why it is so important for 360 cameras. My name is Yujun Guo, my YouTube channel is dedicated to 360 photography, video, accessories, and some cutting technology. So now, let's dive right in. Okay, first thing first, let's take a look at what's inside the box of the vibration damper and what it looks like and how big it is, how to install with your Insta360 cameras, whether it is invisible in your final shot. It's made of metal. It looks like a cubic box with some according to mount thread on top and of course you mount thread hole on the bottom. Why it is a vibration damper? Because you can see if you move, rotate in three axis, up and down, from the back, left and right. Do you see that? If you dampen the vibration from all directions, actually when you tear it down, it consists of a lot of springs. This is a spring and mass mechanics inside this box. And when you install this vibration damper together with your One X2, the 360 cameras, the camera is not waterproof anymore. There's a lot of mass spring mechanic that it is vulnerable to the water drops. Just rotate and install your Insta 360 One X2. This is my One X2. And place this on the, on the side. It will fit really tight. It's anti-twisted rubber in the middle. The Insta 360 engineer also give us another hexagon wrench well you can tighten up tighten up the counter clockwise direction well now it is solid you can mount it on your selfie stick but this is the one that's not designed for your everyday use you need this vibration damper on motorcycle spots and that is why this vibration damper works most well with this motorcycle mouse because when your engine in your motorcycles it's shaking, there's a high frequency vibration that transmit directly inside the camera. Not only will it make the flow state stabilization is really limited, but it will also do harm to your circuit board, uh, the, the resistors, the capacitors, the chipset right inside the, the camera, you know? There's a super clamp of the motor spots, and this one, oops, magical arm. You can play them together clamp on the tube in your motorcycle. And for the other side, it has anti-twist according to mouse thread. Well, you can use extension rod, just like an invisible selfie stick, and place this vibration damper and the One X2. But in the motorcycle bound mount bundle, you also, Institute also provide with you various stickers where you can place your camera from the back everywhere on your motorcycle. Tension part, that you can use on your helmet, just like a mini unicorn. A mini unicorn extension rod. Take a three second countdown. Well, you, got, you can live preview in the video, in the section. This is how it looks like in your final shot. Uh, it is visible, it's definitely visible, but uh, it is really small in your nadir part. Come next, let's talk about this vibration damper in a more scientific approach. So why do you need this vibration damper? Or is the vibration damper designed for everyone? In what circumstances do you have to use this vibration dampers? The vibration damper mainly designed for the cyclist or the motorcycle uh, maniacs. The high frequency vibration will definitely 
transmit to the camera body, especially if you do harm to your circuit board inside this camera. And for the Insta 360 ONE R, considering it's a modular system, it has different connections in between the lens, the core module, the battery life. It is more vulnerable to the high frequency vibration. Actually, for the ONE R, together with the motorcycle users, the vibration damper, I think it's a must-have accessory for you if you want to have a long-term reliability recording with your 1R modular system, especially if you have a 360 mod. That the camera shooting environment is exposed to lots of unpredictable, random, high-frequency vibrations. That is where you need this vibration damper. Actually, the vibration damper is not new to the camera manufacturers. In our daily lives, we can see a lot of use cases. Okay, now we are in a new t-shirt where you can see the Insta360 logo and the hat. I don't know if any one of you have the same suit with me. Let's talk a little bit more about the vibration damper because in our everyday life, we can see a lot of clever use cases of similar design. But before we get started, just want to give you a quick go through on this vibration damper introduction page where you can see a little bit more information. Here you can see it's already out of stock, but never mind. And uh, you can see clearly that the vibration damper is not waterproof dustproof, only used in dry, clean environments. This is what I want to share with you. That is the innovative design, unique six spring structure provides maximum vibration damping. Where you can take a closer look at, Actually, it is more than six springs, front and back, uh, left and right, altogether four springs, and up and down, if you see the up and down, uh, actually on each side, there are four springs. So altogether, there should be 12, 12 springs in the structure, and altogether six pairs. So I think it is a unique six pair spring structure provide a maximum vibration dampens. And up and down, there are four pairs of springs. And left and right, one pair. And front and back, another one pair. Uh, they have different damping ratios. Especially, you can see uh, the, the springs would prevent the damping from front to back, left and right, seem to be a little bit stronger compared with the other springs. Pure mechanic structure metal outlayer resulting in high stability and reliability. This is how to use that. Mount your camera, install the vibration damper, and some notes. When mounting a camera onto a vibration damper, please hold the device firmly to ensure the camera doesn't fall off. This is really important. Uh, yeah, you have to mount slow and steady. Do not use vibration damper with cameras that weighs over 250 grams, cooks the maximum weight it can put it on a spring no bigger than 250 grams the cd1 is 240 grams it's 240 grams with the cd1 and for the kukam ak it's 242 grams that is to say you can use the kukam ak and the cd1 on the vibration dampers actually this is a universal vibration dampers the dual fisheye lens structure in the year 2021. And the vibration damper can only be used with the Insta360 motorcycle with U-bolt mount and hand handlebar mount, where we can already share with you the motorcycle and the mount bundle. The vibration damper is compatible with multiple Insta360 action camera, including but not limited to 1X2 and 1R. Come next, let's take a look at some other clever use cases of similar design in everyday life or in the scientific area. This is a vibration damper using in the wheels of the mechanic in the farmer. Implement a similar design. Let's call it a vibration damper. Did you see that? This is the, the mechanic, how it works. But because it has different use case, you have to isolate the damping, the, the vibration in a single axis. And the vibration damper could not just uh, isolate the damping, it been transmitted into the camera, but also it could isolate the backwards. You know, if the camera shakes itself, the shake will not be transmitted to your motorcycle as well. But this, this will not never happen on the 360 cameras. There's, there's no vibration component in this camera body. But you should notice that a vibration damper will work in both directions. 
They also share with you a little bit amazing design. Uh, it's just a long video. Uh, but look at this one. It could vibrate. You know, this is a, a, a skycraper. And with the vibrage damper in the skycraper, the skycraper stop vibrating immediately. So you can actually uh, fine tuning the, the damping ratio that best fits your environment. That is an advanced use case of the vibration damper in our everyday life. Gaslinger. Gaslinger is a famous company that is famous for its vibration damper. Did you see that? That is the vibration, the, the hydrodynamic damping, fragile resistance springs. So this is a completely new design for the vibration dampers. This was a, a vibration damper used on the NASA's aerospace technology. Well, they have uh, exactly, I think, exactly the same design with the 360, uh, but uh, it, they can fine tune in every one of the parameter of the vibration damper. And this vibration damper is used for the rocket science. This is how you isolate uh, or to dampen the vibration by fine tuning the all the settings. And uh, they also use this similar structure on the bridge across the river. Uh, this is a, a widely used vibration damper but it's not just with spring but with the rubber with the rubber and uh, this is a quad lock it's also a famous brand that could provide produce the everyday accessory the motorcycles well you can use a foam clamp with this unique vibration damper uh, you can prevent the foam from falling off from the clamp in our everyday life i think you should know something uh, learn something from my previous section and I do hope you can master your own vibration damper and more importantly this one is a universal vibration damper for all of the two fish eye structure 360 cameras in the year 2021 include including the 1x2, 1R, Qcam AK, c d one and even some ordinary action cam like the Action 2, Action 1, GoPro 10, GoPro 9 they're all compatible with this vibration damper because it will not just isolate the vibration but also will protect your circuit board inside your camera body. Okay to wrap up in this video we have covered a lot of perspective on the vibration dampers designed by Insta360. I think this is a really important accessories for 360 manufacturers or for the action shooting scenarios. If you shoot in GoPro, the DJI Action 2, whatever you shoot to the environment that consists of randomly high frequency vibration. This is where you need this vibration damper to make your camera to help your shooting to make your shooting more reliable. I do hope that in the future Intercity could design another amazing new design that enable we can adjust the manually adjust the tuning the frequency of the spring mass mechanic that make this vibration damper even more powerful in the future. Not everybody needs this vibration damper, but for the motorcyclists or some professional shooting guys, I think you should definitely consider to get one of the vibration damper in the Insta360 market. And if you want, if you are a Kuka AK user, the C31 or the GoPro or the GoPro guys, you should also consider to have one of the vibration damper because that will help to make your camera more reliable to help to make your job more professional. You and your camera will definitely benefit from this uh, not that so cheap accessory. I do hope we can learn something from this video and if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay safe, until next time, bye.